In 2005, the mathematics scores on the ACT test for males was 21.3, with a standard deviation of 5.3, and for females, the mean was 20.2, with a standard deviation of 4.8. If Jill scored 21 in the ACT math portion, and David scored 21.8, uh, then who scored higher relative to their gender? Are David and Jill's score unusual usual or unusual and why? Okay, so we got uh, David and Jill, I guess. Okay, uh, mathematics score for males is 21.3. So Mu is 21.3 with a standard deviation of 5.3. So Sigma is 5.3. And for females, the mean is 20.2. So Mu is 20.2. with a standard deviation of 4.8. If Jill scored 21, so Jill would be our X, and she's 21. And David scored 21.8, so David will be our X over here, and that's 21.8. Now who scored higher relative to the gender? They're asking for Z score again. So we've got Z is equal to X minus Mu over Sigma. So we're going to use 21.8 minus 21.3 divided by sigma, which is 5.3. That's going to give us 0 0.5 divided by 5.3. So 0 0.5 divided by 5.3. I have divided by 5.3, 0.09. Okay, we'll do the same thing with Jill. We'll do X minus Mu over Sigma. X is 21 minus uh, Mu, which is 20.2, divided by Sigma, which is 4.8. And 21 minus 20.2 is 0.8 over 4.8. So 0.8 divided by 4.8.17. Okay, now Jill has a higher z-score, uh, shows she did better relative to, um, relative to the people that took it with her. Okay, now the second part, uh, are these considered usual or unusual? Well, these are usual. Nothing special about either either person. Because your usual number falls between negative 2 to 2. And both of these are right, pretty well smack, right smack in the, the middle. So that's the reason why. 